Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we are in our PvE dedicated server. We are just going to be doing basic base tour guide. We, I want to kind of catch up where we are, what we have left that we want to build, and things that we actually have planned on building and we're working on currently. So let's go ahead and go ahead and review some of the things that we've built. We've got our main base. I'm not going to go into it. I've shown it on previous base tour videos. You guys can kind of catch a quick glimpse of it. We haven't changed that much of it. The only thing I need to do is get some way to get up top there and make that part of the base. This is a metal base. It's an octagon base that we built while we were doing a tutorial. So inside there is a full PVE octagon base. This is our bird pen. If you have not been in there, you can go into the top and it just keeps all our birds and it's on a little cliff and it's really kind of cool. And it's really nice how it works out. Over there is our storage bin for all of our resources for building materials. So all of our wood walls and all that kind of fun stuff. But on your left here as we go by, this is our zoo barn as we like to call it. Uh, we'll go ahead and go through it real quick. It kind of looks like a barn, but at the same time it looks like a zoo if you kind of see this, the cages on there. But the outside it kind of looks like a barn. So we kind of call it the zoo barn. So it ends up being... So you can see that that thing turned out really well. I've got dinosaurs everywhere and all kinds of fun stuff. We've got Ankleos, and then we've got our garden that we built pre previously. It's run off of reservoirs, and it's really kind of nice. It turned out really good. It's got lots of good stuff. It's on a foundation. And you can see my dung beetle roaming around in there somewhere. There he is. Hi, Mr. Dung Beetle. So that's what our base looks like. That's what this one looks like. But we haven't gone in there actually officially since it's been completed on a base tour. So we're going to go ahead and jump off and jump in there real quick. You guys got to see the overview. If I can get up here maybe, uh, it would be a nice little thing. So uh, that's not going to happen. So we're just going to go ahead and walk up to the bird, throw him in the air, and we'll go ahead and do that. That works just fine. So we've got a nice little walk around. We've got some torches on it. A nice little porch. It's on an octagon. It's got a great view looking off the side right here. You can look out over the ocean, a lot kind of fun stuff. And if we go inside, you guys can see we've got all of our plants and gardens we could ever want in here. Nothing to worry about. And then this is our foundation down here. This has got our beer barrels down here. We've got torches. We've got all of our fertilizer stuff and all that fun things in there that keeps it automated on there. And for those of you who have not heard, in case you didn't notice, uh, all this stuff will be coming on official. You will be able to play every single mod on here except for uh, the automated arc and all that kind of stuff. Um, and they are going to be integrating S Plus, though, to the official game. So that's really exciting for that. So all these builds you guys see will be able to be done. This was our breeding area, our hatchery, or as you want to call it, that we've built. Uh, it looked out really cool. I ended up doing a hexagon in the middle and then two, three sides out of it. I thought it looked really cool. We're going to do something really cool also with this. We kind of like the way this turned out. We're going to kind of expand upon it. But you guys can see it turned out really nice. We've got all of our stuff in here for breeding and all that fun stuff. Our food pens. They're All three of these are the same minus this one's got a fridge on it. And we've got all kinds of dinosaur eggs. And if you guys haven't seen, we started producing dinosaurs. We're going to make some raptors and have some uh, fun raptor video of us just running off a pack of raptors that have been bred. So we'll have fun with that. And then we've got our little uh, spy out station up here. You guys can look out over everything. See our whole base. And really kind of look out over everything. It's really kind of cool how it turned out. I'm really excited for the way it turned out. So we're going to go ahead and jump over here. Hit this little bridge right here. And jump down and go ahead and jump onto our RG back. And then we're going to go ahead and head over to two areas. Um, and I want to talk about what these two areas are going to be. So first things first, this is our bridge. You guys have seen this, I think, built. I don't remember if it was on a base tour or not, but we built this bridge. It's hollow underneath. We have not completed our egg pen underneath. That is part of it. However... Right out here, we found out that you can place tree platforms on this giant tree that's out here. It's an undamageable tree, and you can chase, place tree platforms on it. We're really excited for it. So we are going to be doing a really awesome build on this. We really want to make it really kind of nifty and expand it and make something really nice, like a tree house or something that comes out over the water, and really kind of make it pillars and make it look really cool and try to expand how it is. So we're going to make a giant tree house, and we're going to call it Lemur's Tree House, and really try to expand it. And I think it'll be really cool. We're going to make it... Uh, we don't know yet. It might just be like a building that looks cool. It might be my house actually specifically. We had talked about that. So that's something we're going to do. The next thing also we're going to start to do is down here I'm going to build a large dino pen. This is where I can hold my Rexes, my Gigas, and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, I don't know exactly how I'm going to build it yet because it's going to have to be ginormously huge. So we'll figure that one out. But that's where we're at for now. Another thing that I've not found out recently is that down here at this base of this waterfall, I am able to get water dinos up into here and these all these pools are connected 
So I'm going to be working on a new design for this area and calling it our water base. However, we might do like some kind of cool bridge over the top of this in front of the waterfall for holding our main base and have all our dinos underneath and like little pens and stuff. We haven't fully figured it out, but I'm really excited to give that one a shot and get that thing cracking. I think it could really, 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 really be cool <clears throat> building up to here and just having it more like a big cave base that's for water dinos and having all kinds of fun stuff in here. So that's what we're going to be focusing on on in this section down here to getting that stuff and that's really what my base is going to end up looking like however I'm now going to take you guys over to Dudley's base and Eagle's base because they are the same now as I said they were previously removed so we're going to head right over here you guys can see kind of roughly where we're heading and we'll see you guys back here in a moment when we reach Dudley's base welcome back guys so we are here and we're heading into Dudley and Eagle's base here you guys can kind of start seeing some of it load in we are not going to go over to the little side base. I don't know if that's done or not yet. I haven't checked it out. But you guys can see that Deadly has started working on his ramp going up to his base. It actually looks really cool how he built that. And they've got that thing going up into there. He's got a gate protecting his base. And this is actually really cool. I actually saw this on his. And he placed this thing perfectly. If you look at this, it touches just the edge of the ramp and everything and it looks so good which has got the little bridge going behind it so it's got the gate underneath it it looks really cool how it lined up almost perfect and it just it's really really cool how he could do that and he got that thing to work out so that was really cool that he got placed you can see he's working on his ramp he hasn't fully finished it he's still working on it a little bit he's got some issues he's working out with that one this is his taming pen over here so he can throw stuff down stand up on the ramp and start shooting them and knock them out so he turned that turned out really nifty on that one and then we have seen his main base before. I don't know how much of it he has actually changed in here. So let's go ahead and jump inside here. You guys can see he's got all of his OCD vaults. These are the ones that help him organize stuff automatically. So you guys can see all the cilia pearls and all that kind of fun stuff and tools and all that fun stuff. So uh, you've got everything in there. You got a dodo and he's got oh, he's got his little monkey rex or his um, uh, yeah that thing. Jeroba, Jeroby, no, ah, I can't remember the name, I'm a terrible person, so you all make fun of that later, he's got Toucan Sam up here, and he's got really cool stuff, um, and everything, so really cool, he's got nothing going on up here, I don't know why he hasn't built anything up here yet, you should really question it, but dude, what are you doing, and he's got his Pego up here, just tailing, so he's got two floors of nothing, and his first floor is crammed, so we need to tell him he needs to start decorating this thing, and make it more, more beautiful, so, we're going to go ahead and head back outside. You guys can see he's got all of his stuff placed and he started building over here. Now this was um, this is a building he was building. It's meant to be some kind of breeding room or something. I think is what he said he was going to go for on this one. So I'm not exactly sure what the goal is on this. I haven't spoken to him about it. And it's not complete yet though, obviously, as you guys can tell. And then if you come over here, you got his little side ones. Both of them are the exact same on both sides, which turned out really, really nice there. And then he built over here. It's kind of a cliff area is really what it ended up being. He's built right off the side of the cliff. He's got his bird pen right here where he hatches his little birdies and all that kind of fun stuff. And then you can actually go down and underneath and you can see where he keeps his oranges and all that fun stuff. So he really made it kind of cool how it opens up. And he's got his little platform down there. Oh, and then you guys got a quick glimpse of the building they are currently working on. Uh, this is his little, I guess you call it stone little hole he made. It's really just for his... Uh, fit, uh, trough and his generator for his trough so it's going to help him out really well so now we're going to have to go grab our RG back I'm trying to remember the right place I think put it back here if I remember correctly yep there he is so we'll go ahead and head down and take a look at that big massive base that they are officially building down here now this is not completed so he will be making a video for this as it finishes but we're going to go ahead and head down here and take a peek at it and see what's going on so we've got our Rex pen over here this is just for holding all our Rexes while we breed them and all that kind of fun stuff you guys can see that uh, you've got some bunny ears on there, RGs and stuff, and they're having a little bit of fun with that. So we've got all of our Rexes out here. We've got four of them now. They're all really good, and we're going to hopefully start breeding them so we can start doing end game achievements and stuff. So then we're going to go ahead and land here and take you inside. Uh, as far as I understand, this is going to be the Dino Pen, if I can get this thing to work which it doesn't look like it's going to work for me. So, oh, there we go. So you just had to turn sideways a little bit, and you come out the side. They're working on the ramp for the door for this. This is their little garden that they built. Uh, I don't know exactly how that works with no roof on it, but that's awesome. Uh, I normally thought, oh, you don't get a greenhouse effect. But, yeah, so they've got their little garden in here just enough 
to keep them supplied for things. You can see they got two dung beetles in here, so nothing ever runs out. They've got their cooking pot for stuff to help make them recipes. And then you guys can come over here, and this is going to be the big giant area for their main base that they're going to build. This is their stego that they have. Um, this is actually for their Anki. It's a par uh, Paracerithium, and they built this and got this out there for Dodecaruses and all kinds of fun stuff. You can see they lagged through. This is just their basic building. It's a farming area, so we can farm all of our resources very quickly. You put the Dodecarus down there. One of us sits on the Dodecarus. One of us sits on an Anki or, or Mammoth or whatever and just smashes everything that comes by, and then we run upstairs and put it up there and then make stuff and then keep going back and forth. So makes it so if you have three people it's super fast for those of you who are wondering how he pulled off this ramp and extended it if you see this is on foundations so it's considered to be a foundation until the very end so that's how he was able to pull off that little ramp in the back so and if you guys are wondering uh, you can see the whole thing when you're walking you can see the very end of it if you zoom it like this and you can see where you're at so really cool really well done by them and it's really nifty so that's deadly's base that they're working on uh, we'll probably do another base tour for the new buildings here in about five to ten episodes so i'm really excited for that one because we have some really cool builds that we're working on especially that treehouse build we're going to see this thing finished hopefully we'll have some more buildings the large dino pen and all that kind of fun stuff built so anything we do off camera obviously we'll keep with you and we'll have our water pen built so i'm really hoping the next uh, base tour is going to be way different than this one. You're going to see a whole total new area. Maybe get Deadly over here and have him clean up a couple of the stuff. So, But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And as always, leave a comment down below. If you guys think of something that we should build or something you want to see built, let us know on that one at the exact same time. And as always, guys, make sure you have a fantastic day. And we'll see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.